All right, Switch, we're at the second light. Now will you take it off? Nah, I don't think so. You promised me you'd take it off at the second light. This is so embarrassing. I have a half-witted eagle maniac in my car wearing a Mexican hat. Sombrero? What? First of all, Toby, it's called a sombrero. Say it right or don't say anything, because it really hurts my ears when you name things in ignorance. Second of all, you're always embarrassed. You can't not be embarrassed. You're so insecure, you're almost comfortable in your apprehensive plight. You know, it's bad enough you're dragging me along with you on this. You have to dress up too? You think someone could have sex if they couldn't see what they were doing? I don't know. I mean, normally you take the lights down for sex anyway, but then your eyes adjust to the darkness so you can see what's going on. Well, actually, I've never had sex completely in the dark before. Have you always kept the light on? Well, yeah, there's gotta be a little light. Bathroom light down the hall or something. Would you ever have sex in the dark? Well, I never planned it. There just always happened to be a light on. I mean, I'm not scared to have sex in the dark. Well, unless there's something to be scared of. Well, what do you mean? Well, take for example this hat. If someone were to put this hat on your head and you couldn't see out of it, would you still have sex with them? Well, I mean, couples have sex blindfolded all the time. I don't see the big deal. Yeah, I could do it. Yeah, I thought you could. What does that mean? Nothing. It's just that you said you'd have sex with a stranger in complete darkness. A stranger? You never said it was with somebody I didn't know. You didn't ask. Well, wait a minute, Switcher. I still don't see the big deal. I've had one night stands before. Alone? Yeah. Well, wait, what do you mean alone? You mean there'll be people with us completely in the dark? No, you'd be the one in the dark. Well, so would they. You're the only one wearing the hat. You know what? Forget it. I'm not having an orgy if I'm the only one who can't see. You would pass up having sex with multiple beautiful women just because you're blindfolded and they're not? They could be doing weird stuff to me. I knew it. Knew what? Weird. I'm gay because I want to have bizarre sex with multiple strangers. Toby, do you have any idea how many men would give up their right arm just to be in that situation? Well, I guess I'm not one of them. I rest my case. I'm not gay! You would purposely... Uh, disgust the entire male population of the United States of America by refusing what most heterosexual men never get in their entire lives just because you have a tiny little fear that they might do something to you because you can't see. All right. I'll have sex with multiple beautiful women in the dark, even though I couldn't see what they were doing, and they could be doing weird stuff to me without my knowledge. Just multiple women? That's what you said. That's not what I said, that's what you said. What, there are men there too? Oh, so you do want men now? No, you moron! But if there are men there, the deal is off. Well, you know there are more than just men and women. What are you getting at? Well, these women like to take these small dogs around with them wherever they go. Wait, Switcher, you said I wouldn't know who I was having sex with because I was blindfolded. But I think even if I couldn't see, I would know that I'd be having sex with a dog. Yeah? How? What do you mean, how? How would you know? Because beautiful women have don't have hair covering their bodies. They shave them. Who walks around with a shaved dog? They shave them specifically for this purpose. Well, how would I know that I'd be having sex with the women or the dog? How would you know? They sure as hell wouldn't tell you that you'd be blindfolded. You know what? Forget it. Deal's off. I'm not doing it. I'm not chancing having sex with a dog. You would give up having sex with the most voluptuous women on the face of the earth? Who would be pleasuring you in the most amazing physical ways known to the human being? for hours upon hours until your balls are so drained and tiny that they don't even resemble raisins with the biggest, most natural titties? All right! I'll have sex with multiple voluptuous women in the dark, even though they could be doing a bunch of weird stuff to me without my knowledge, and even if there's a little shaved dog in the room. You'd have sex with a dog? <laughs> Fucking sicko.